Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to import and run the Berkeley DB Java sample program in the IntelliJ IDE. In the previous tutorial, we have already built necessary Berkeley DB libraries and copied them to the sample programs directory. So let's open IntelliJ and import the projects. Now let's import and run the sample program in IntelliJ. Before that, we need to make sure that JDK 7 is added to the platform SDKs. To verify that, click Configure, Project Defaults, Project Structure, and make sure that JDK 7 is added to the platform SDKs. Now let's open the project. Click Open. Navigate to the sample programs directory and open the project file. Now we need to configure the project to use the Java libraries built from the Berkeley DB release package. Right click on the project and select Open Module Settings. In the Dependencies tab, click Add Jars or Directories and select the two jar files we copied from the Berkeley DB Build directory. Now we are ready to run the sample program. We need to create a run configuration for it. Click Edit Configurations and add a new configuration for application. Give our new configuration a suitable name and select the main class as Parking Demo. Set the VM options to use the sample program's root directory at our native library path. Click OK to save it. Now run the sample program. We can see that the sample program has run successfully. Let's take a quick look to the output of the sample program. The sample program simulates five cars entering and leaving a parking lot. When each car enters a parking lot, it gets a ticket with a unique ID. When it leaves the parking lot, it pays its parking fee based on how long it stays in the parking lot. At the end of the simulation, two statistics are also computed. The total number of cars entering the parking lot on a specific day and total parking fees collected on the same day. Before wrapping up the tutorial, I would also like to show you how to select the APIs used to run the sample program. Open the Parking Demo class. At the beginning of the main method, you can select which APIs to use to run the sample program. By default, we use SQL, which means the JDBC API is used. We can change it to base to use a basic key value API. Or we can use DPL, the direct persistent layer API. This wraps up the tutorial. Thank you for your time. For more detailed information on BerkeleyDB or the sample program, please visit our OTN website.